It's the end of the Trumps as we know it. It's the end of the Trumps as we know it. It's the end of the Trumps as we know it. And I feel fine. Hey, fabulous people, you must be feeling so good today. And the reason why I'm so happy is because of what just happened with Michael Flynn. I'm going to play this clip first that explains exactly what happened and why this is the bombshell of all bombshells. Let me play this first and then I'm going to talk about it right after. Okay, here's the clip. Right now, Brian, this certainly would seem to suggest that Michael Flynn had a fair amount of information to offer the special counsel in return. That's right, George. He has promised full cooperation to the Mueller team. He's prepared to testify, we are told by a confidant, against President Trump, against members of the Trump family, and others in the White House. He is prepared to testify that President Trump, as a candidate, Donald Trump, ordered him, directed him to make contact with the Russians, which contradicts all that Donald Trump has said at this point. As well, we're told that Flynn made the decision to cooperate only in the last 24 hours, that he is distraught about the decision but feels he's doing the right thing for his country, that he was facing huge legal bills of more than a million dollars, and that he said that finally he had to go ahead and do this for that reason. He expects to put his house on the market. He is facing serious financial problems. And Okay, so Flynn flipped entirely. He agreed to cooperate and testify. Let me say that again. Testify against Trump, Trump's family, and other people in the White House. Do you understand what that means? Testify is a legal word. Because it, when someone testifies, it happens in a legal forum. How can Flynn testify against Trump without a legal proceeding? You see what I'm saying? Which means that they think they can bring some kind of criminal charges against Donald Trump. We're not talking impeachment. Mueller has absolutely nothing to do with impeachment. He has no jurisdiction over impeachment. You can't be talking about a civil proceeding because Mueller has nothing to do with a civil proceeding. You can't be talking about testifying in front of the Senate or the House Judiciary Committee or anything like that because Mueller has no jurisdiction over those committees. So the only reason why Flynn would be able to... Um, I mean, be willing to testify and the only way he'd be willing to testify or be able to testify is if they intend to bring Donald Trump up on criminal charges. But by getting that deal, let me just tell you, that means Flynn offered up something substantial. Part of what came out about um, Flynn willing to testify against Trump is that he's going to testify that Trump instructed him to contact Russia after Obama had implemented the sanctions. So when President Obama implemented those sanctions, they contacted Russia and basically tried to undermine the implementation of those sanctions. Okay? But that's not all he's likely offered. That's not enough for Mueller to give him what is essentially the deal of the century. Mueller offered him the deal of the century. There's no way he's just offering that. You know, because if you if you look at the actual statement of offenses, it has diff- four different categories of things that they claim that Michael Flynn had done um, in terms of making false statements. And there are four different categories in there. Those are things in which Michael Flynn could have been charged with separately as different crimes and violations of other statutes and codes. That's what could have happened. But they gave him a deal to, to get rid of all of that. So the only way that happens is if he's offering up Trump. I, you can say um, um, he's offering up Kushner, but that's not what I believe. I don't believe that at all. Kushner's not enough. He wants Mueller wants Trump. And Flynn is the one that can give him Trump. Because Flynn was there from beginning to end. Flynn was. He knows everything. He knows the entire story. And he blindsided Trump. But anyway, before I get into that, then blindsiding Trump, which was just gangster, which I'm telling you right now, Mueller is one of the best lawyers I've ever seen. Trump and them were not prepared for that. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But here is part of what the plea agreement says. The plea agreement says here, let me just read it to you guys real quickly so you can hear part of what it says. It says cooperation. This is part of Michael Flynn's plea agreement. Your client shall cooperate fully, truthfully, completely, and forthrightly with this office and other federal, state, and local law enforcement authorities identified by this office in any and all matters as to which this office deems the cooperation relevant. 
Your client acknowledges, I mean, your client acknowledges that your client's cooperation may include, but will not necessarily be limited to, answering questions, providing sworn written statements, taking government administered polygraph examinations, and participating in covert law enforcement activities. Any refusal by your client to f- cooperate fully, truthfully, completely, and forthrightly, as directed by this office and other federal, state, and local law enforcement authorities identified by this office in any and all matters in which this office deems your client's assistance relevant will constitute a breach of this agreement by your client and will relieve this office of its obligations under this agreement, including but not limited to its obligation to inform the court of any assistance your client has provided. Okay, so basically what they're saying in here is that Flynn has to offer them everything. You need to give us everything. That's just part of the cooperation text and the plea agreement. He has to give them everything, including covert operations. So they're trying, they're literally ready to take down Trump like you have never seen before. That's what's happening right now with Michael Flynn. And even Fox News knows it. Here's a clip from Fox News talking about um, how bad this is for Donald Trump. Because as I said, this is Flynn will be the one indisputably that's going to take Donald Trump down. Listen to Fox News and listen to what they're saying. Fox News. Remember Fox News. Donald Trump News. Fox News. This is Fox News. And Judge Napolitano, get in here. We need you to tell us what is going on. What do you make of the latest with this? Well, uh, you know, I think this is probably the tip of a prosecutorial iceberg, so to speak. Uh, It's a nightmare for Donald Trump because General Flynn was his constant companion on foreign policy and national security matters from June of 2015 till the time the president fired him in uh, February of 2017. Uh, the downside for the government is that whatever testimony General Flynn provides is coming out of, out of the mouth of someone that the government itself has acknowledged is unworthy of belief because he's pleaded guilty, as we know, uh, to lying to the FBI. The downside to the president is, as one of you was just saying, this keeps the Russian thing, the Russian story, front and center. Okay, that's Judge Napolitano. That's one of the biggest conspiracies on Fox News. As a matter of fact, they had to, like, take him off the news for a little while because he was telling too many lies. He tried so hard to defend Donald Trump at every single turn, and he is saying that this is a disaster for Donald Trump. He also said this is the tip of the prosecutorial iceberg. The tip of the iceberg is what he's saying, which means there's so much shit that's about to go down. Okay, another thing, too. Is that Trump was actually caught off guard about this. Politico had an article today saying that nobody in the White House was prepared for this to happen. They just weren't prepared. And that's what Mueller has been doing this entire time. He has just been sneaking in. He's checkmating Trump at every single turn. It's unbelievable. He's one of the most phenomenal lawyers. And you just have to give it up to Mueller. It's Mueller time right now. Okay? And then... You know, Mueller is basically doing things essentially that are putting Trump in the situation where Trump is going to have to play his cards. He's going to have to show his hand at some particular point. So we'll see what he does. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I've said to you guys for a long time that the imposter in the White House was not going to finish his entire term, that he was either going to be impeached, they were going to invoke the 25th Amendment, or he was going to resign. His presidency is over. His presidency was over, as far as I'm concerned, on January 20th, 2017. As far as I'm concerned, he was never the president. He's always been an imposter from day one. It was a guy pretending to be a president, has absolutely no idea how to be a president. So he has always been an imposter, as far as I'm concerned. So the imposter in the White House's presidency has always been over. But after Flynn are willing to testify against the imposter in the White House, his presidency is effectively over. Effectively over. We can all say that now, that his presidency is effectively over. And you have to think about this. Just think about it. Trump has now had his campaign advisor, Manafort, indicted. His foreign policy advisor, um, Papandopoulos, indicted. His national security advisor was also indicted, Michael Flynn. Okay? so they, Or at least pled guilty. I'm not sure if they're going to necessarily consider it a, an indictment, but he pled guilty to charges today. He did that. So just imagine that you've had that many people that, are surrounded, that you, you were surrounded yourself with during your campaign season... Imagine having that many people that are affiliated with the president of the United States and the president of the United States doesn't have the requisite pride to resign. What the hell is the imposter still doing there? It's time for you to go. You need to pack up your bags and go. You're done. What's the point anymore? You're not a president. You're basically been rendered ineffective. You're a lame duck at this particular point. You're just sitting there basically wasting our time and wasting everybody's time at this particular point. It's time for you to go. 
And, you know, the question is, I think what people will be asking is, will Trump, is he going to now try to fire Mueller? And let me tell you what my opinion is on that. If he fires Mueller, he's going to be indicted for obstruction of justice. He will be removed from office anyway. If he doesn't fire Mueller, Mueller may indict him because no sitting president has ever been indicted. But it doesn't say in the Constitution that you can't do that. There's nowhere in the Constitution that it says you cannot indict a sitting president. And no sitting president has ever been indicted. So we don't really know how this this is going to be one a new phenomenon for you know those constitutionalists. What do you do in this kind of crisis right here? But nevertheless... Trump will either be impeached or he may be indicted because there is nothing in the Constitution that prohibits that. So Trump is in a lose-lose situation either way. Fire Mueller, you're you're going down in burning flames for obstruction of justice. If you decide to keep Mueller, Mueller's taking you down in burning flames anyway. Lose-lose situation. Then the other question is, will Trump pardon Flynn? Okay, if Trump pardons Flynn, then Flynn has no legal jeopardy, which means he can't invoke the Fifth Amendment, which means he will still have to testify if he is subpoenaed to testify, which means he will still have to give the beans on Donald Trump and testify truthfully. And if he doesn't, then he can be brought up on perjury charges. So the thing is, Flynn will have to testify one way or another by now making this plea deal. Flynn could have stayed silent the entire time and said nothing ever because he had legal jeopardy. But what happened now is that you no longer have, because he made this plea deal, he can no longer refuse to testify or they'll pull the deal. If he doesn't testify, then they no longer are obligated. You breached this agreement. They're no longer obligated to comply, which means Flynn has to cooperate fully and give them whatever it is that they want. Otherwise, they can go after him. So Flynn makes this deal, which means he's going to testify. And then so which means he's either going to testify either way. You pardon him. He testifies. He goes forward with this deal. He testifies, which is, again, a lose-lose situation for Trump. See, this is why Mueller is such a badass, because Mueller blindsided Trump with this and put Trump once again in another lose-lose situation. He was 50 steps ahead of Trump. They weren't even ready for this to happen. So be happy. Today is Friday. You should enjoy yourself. Go out and have a party. Literally, at, in D.C., they're having, they like have these like Mueller, Mueller Friday drinks now after the Flynn indictment. The stock market also went down today as well after the Flynn um, plea deal. And this is the thing. The to- stock market is so arbitrary anyway. It's just utterly irrational. It's like no policy actually changed as a result of Flynn being indicted. But all of a sudden, the numbers go down, which is why I'm telling people that let Trump continue to say good things about the stock market and what he did for the stock market because the stock market will crash. And even though Trump has absolutely nothing to do with the stock market and what, the way whether it goes up or down because it's so hyperinflated at this point, if you have money in there, you might want to think about when it gets to a nice exorbitant amount and taking it out, waiting until after the crash and then putting it back in. But nevertheless, Trump can go ahead and continue to brag about these kind of things because when it crashes, it'll come down burning on him. Just like he's been bragging all this time about so many other things, everything is going to crash and burn around him. And that's why Flynn testifying is the biggest story of 2017. And it is the end of the Donald Trump presidency. So I'm going to put in the description box links to the plea agreement and to the um, statement of offenses. I'm going to put that in there so you can read it yourself. But I will let you understand that nothing right now is going to protect Trump from the consequences. He's been put in a lose-lose situation. You can't get rid of Mueller. Mueller's coming for you. He's coming for your scalp. And it's obvious at this point. And then if you fire Mueller, the um, government's going to come for your scalp. So goodbye, Trump. You won't be missed. Not at all.